Okay, we're getting ready to get out to the, um, I'm gonna go to, uh, I'm gonna go and fish. It's been a long, long time since I fished ever. We have some of the crew. Got everyone coming down. Hopefully, Otec is still open. I'm bringing my GoPro media cage with the Saramonic boom mic along with the mouth mount mounted into the gooseneck with the clamp. We're headed down to um, Otec and we're gonna go and get some fishing in. And we're gonna fit everyone into this van right here. And this is the tricky part. This van is specced out for seven people, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fit 17. I'm taking out this very high tech seat right here. Just like that. See you guys down at the beach. Oh, we're fitting everyone, as you said before, we're fitting 17 people <laughs> in this bad boy right here. All that's gonna work, but he's gonna make it work. So we're gonna live to see that. <laughs> yeah. And then post process, it's gonna. All right, so we made it down here. Oh man, oh man. The time right now is uh, 5.58 p.m. So we made it down here and uh, get it. I'm back. So we finally made it down here to the shoreline. Um, you know, sun at all, and sun is already set. So chances of us not really making it in time. It's, uh, Big chances, but let's go. Cast them. Got my um, HMX pole that I'm going to be using today because we're going for some smaller fish. We're going uh, for some. Oh, that's not the one. That here is my. Uh, that's my Okuma Rockaway. So here's my HMX. I've caught many a big fish with this pole. This is a proven leader in the business right here. Uh, both things from Walmart, pull 25 bucks. Real, obviously 25 bucks. Shimano FX. I have caught many of things with this thing. Pachi, Avail Veil, Moy, plenty of things that I can. The reel that I chose for today's or tonight's session is my uh, Pen Fierce 3, shout out to Pen. I'd love to say I'm sponsored by them, but uh, you know, uh, I'm not. Uh, we're gonna be throwing out some braided line, dark uh, green. Why do I like dark green? Um, I have no idea. I just find that it works really well. The fish could care less. Whether it's on a dark green plate, a white plate, or a blue plate, they will eat it. Uh, usually I go about six to eight feet of uh, Mono eater. I'm gonna be using fluorocarbon though tonight. We might be catching some early straggler minpachis, so we'll see. I know where the minpachi holes are around here, but it's been a few years, so I don't think uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be fishing. They are though, because I wanted to do some videos over this beautiful looking ocean. We got two fishermen out right now. We got one cameraman. That's gonna be me. And I'll see you guys later on tonight. A little bit of glow on it. Straight out. with Oku Palu these days. Oh, it's a fighter. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's definitely a Mimpachi. Oh, no. Oku Palu. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, 
Um, so this, the fish is called Opupalu and they're usually pretty small but the one he caught was pretty big. It was a very good sized one. And my friend's uncles like eating those which is a bit odd because I've had one before and they just do not taste good. Yeah, finally, it feels like something small, it doesn't feel like anything really big, but you know what, it feels really good to have something on my line. In fact, you know what, it could be wrong. Oh no, I got something. Definitely have something. Okay, there. All I can say folks is, where there's a will, there's a way. You know, it takes a lot of focus, a lot of determination, but you just never give up. And uh, I'm gonna throw this guy back. He's a cute little guy, but look at him. Uh, farewell. This is a minpachi, or a, 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 a red soldier fish, I believe they call them there in Hawaii. It's the English name. Of course, you never call them by their English names here, but take it out very gently. Throw back. Woo! All right, guys, so we're wrapping up this fishing trip. It was a very quick fishing trip, very, very fun. I caught a uh, massive Menpachi, as you can see. But on my very last cast, I kind of tangled my line. Now, if we were here all night, uh, I would have some patience, but we're not, and we're wrapping it up anyway. But this year, uh, pretty much it compromises your line. Even if you untangle it, um, because of the fact that it's knotted and it got tangled, it now compromises your line, which means that if you were to go and catch a big fish that's really putting your equipment to the test, um, there's a, a big possibility that that line would snap. So um, I, that, right, this would be a line that I probably would cut, which is why I say, I mean, fishing is, it's, uh, it's a little expensive. I mean, this, this, this is a fluorocarbon leader. And you know, this stuff gets a little pricey. So we'll see you guys next time. Same place, same time.